Chris, we heard you were moving away and wanted a chance to say goodbye. You've been so involved with OCBA over the last few years and touched so many people in the process. Some of those people have put together short video messages for you. We hope you enjoy them. Hi, Chris. I have this funny memory of you I wanted to share. About seven years ago, probably this time of year, I got this idea that I wanted to have bees here at my home, uh, but I didn't want to take care of them. I was one of those. <laughs> and I called Bailey Bee Supply. You answered. I explained. No judgment on your part was reflected back in your voice. And I believe you put a message out to the OCBA membership. And lucky me, Ryan contacted me and said he would be happy to help me. And in the process, Ryan you know, shared with me lots about bees and I became a beekeeper without even planning on doing that. Um, but there in that first year after the package was put in, I don't know, maybe about a month later, Ryan was away on a vacation. I don't know what caused me to need to check on the bees. But I went into the hive and there in the upper box, I saw something that I didn't know what it was and I was very concerned. And so I called Bailey's. I thought, what else can I do? I need some help. I wasn't a member of OCBA at the time. I was just relying on Ryan. So I called and you answered again, there at Bailey's and I said, oh my goodness, I. I'm seeing something, it's just like a sheet of white. It's not like that, the way I put it in there. When Ryan was here, it didn't look like that then. And now it's just a sheet of white. I don't know what it is, I'm very concerned. And you laughed a little bit and then you said, that's honey, honey, and chuckled some more at me. And uh, I'll never forget that. What fun. And so many other instances of, of time spent with you, Chris. So I'll, I'll always remember those. Hi, Chris. I just wanted to call in from Providence and say I'm so sorry that you're leaving. And I'm so sad that when I come back, I'm not going to be able to see your beautiful, warm, smiling face and feel the positive vibes and bee earrings and just everything good from your general direction um, and I hope you have a ton of fun in Washington and I just want to say thank you so much for all the uh, everything that um, you did for the Orange County Beekeepers Association especially for the outreach committee and everything and for me in particular you're one of the first people that welcomed me into beekeeping um, and you just made a huge impact on my journey and I'm sure I'm gonna be a beekeeper for the rest of my life um, many thanks to you so I hope you have the best time in Washington. I hope everything's going well. I miss everyone at the OCBA and I'm excited to see you guys when I come back. So much love, best move, bye, bye. Chris, I can't believe you're leaving us, but before you go, I wanted to take just a minute to let you know that I will miss you when you move to Washington State. You've been such a great role model for all beekeepers, but especially for women beekeepers here in OCBA. When I was about to attend my first OCBA meeting, I was really worried that there would be about seven old men sitting around in a circle talking about the good old days. Needless to say, I was so pleasantly surprised to find the OCBA community that I did, and you've been a huge part in shaping and molding that community. Not long after I joined OCBA, I volunteered to do an outreach event. I didn't think I knew enough to be there, but you were there, you made me feel welcome, showed me the ropes, and in no time I felt it at home. Your welcoming, encouraging, friendly, and knowledgeable spirit all encompass the things I think of when I think of OCBA. So thank you for showing us all the ropes and for helping to make OCBA what it is today. I will miss you and I wish you all the best. Hey Chris, it's Mary Beth Hamilton. I couldn't let your departure go by without sharing a few thoughts about our time together. Um, when I think about your contribution to our beloved bee club, it's just really impressive from your outreach programs and helping raise awareness about beekeeping among the kiddos to supporting us as students of beekeeping, um, serving as a wonderful instructor and support person for the Master Beekeeper program, 
putting together your doodle polls to test us and keep <laughs> make sure we were doing our reading, um, to just sharing the insights from your practical experience in the field. It just really enriched my understanding of beekeeping and what it means to be a good, responsible beekeeper. Um, and lastly, on a personal note, the days that you and I would work together at Bailey's were my favorite days because not only did I get to enjoy your pleasant company um, and hear about your travels and your bicycling tr tours and trips, but you were always there with the answers for those real head-scratching situations that people would come in and bring to Bailey's looking for guidance. And uh, so you, I was always breathing a sigh of relief when you worked alongside me because you could handle those tricky questions. Um, you sure will be missed, Chris, and I'm sorry I'm not going to get the opportunity to see you in person, but I wish you all the best, and um, I'm going to hope that our paths will cross again in the future. I sure do appreciate you, Chris. Bye-bye. Chris, we hate to hear that you're moving to Washington State. We're definitely going to miss you. Just wanted to do this video from Bailey B. Supply and let you know that you'll be missed. Uh, bon voyage and all that. Uh, I hope you get a chance to come back and see us uh, sometime. Just want to say have fun out in Northwest and have fun with those grandbabies. Hey Chris, I feel like I'm losing my buddy. We've been through so much, including B school and everything else that followed. I'm going to really miss you. I wish you the best of luck in Washington State. I'm glad you're going to have family nearby. Best of luck, sweetie. Have a blessed day. I remember first meeting Chris Apple at one of the uh, early meetings I went to over at the UU Church. And one of the first things that I remember was that she, as I walked through the door, extended her hand and said, Hi, I'm Chris. And immediately there was some sense of um, welcoming that she brought to that whole uh, experience, the first couple of years. And then as I learned more about Chris and watched her and was simply amazed at the number of activities she did when she was doing the outreach. I mean, her energy was boundless going from this one to that one. Just every week there was something she was involved in. Hi, Chris. I heard that you're heading off to Washington. We're going to miss you. I'm going to miss you. Beekeeping in Orange County will never be the same. And beekeeping in Washington will certainly be different for you than beekeeping here. But there's still time to change your mind. As I record this, it's Thanksgiving Day. Everyone at OCBA will be forever thankful for all that you did to make our club successful. Your willingness to jump into a leadership role so early in your beekeeping career was an inspiration to everyone in the club. Your enthusiasm was infectious. Your smile and your energy built our club. Personally, I would not have stepped into a leadership role without your gentle push actually show, but it is what it is. With your outreach efforts, you shared beekeeping enthusiasm with the non-beekeeping world, and by your example, you encouraged the rest of us to do the same. You kicked off the club's demonstration hives program. The hives at Blackwood Park will be your lasting legacy. Simply put, OCBA would not be the club that it is without you. Thank you for all that you've done as you head off to Washington. Remember that you made our beekeeping corner of the world much more fun. We will all miss you greatly. Good luck. Goodbye. Hey, Chris. You will be missed. You've always been the heart and soul of this club, and I'll always remember you for your dedication to being our face to the community. Have a safe trip. So just want to say you're one of the most amazing people I've ever met. Your intelligence, your kindness, and generosity with your time and knowledge are ever present. You're one of the few people I know to whom the adjective vivacious truly applies. Um, I don't think I've ever seen you without a smile on your face. I've known you both from our Orange County Beekeeper Association and the Durham County Master Gardener program. And I'm so grateful for your guidance um, in both organizations. You helped me feel part of the Master Gardener program during my first year, convinced me that 
it really does make sense to spend your time answering phones in the office. Um, I, you oversaw my practical for my certified beekeeper exam when nobody else would do it for me. Um, you were an awesome supportive teacher for our 2021 Master Gardener Beekeeper Study Group. Um, you did such a great job with, with those little tests at the end, especially, it made it a lot of fun. And you talked me out of my hysteria before taking the practical for my journeyman because I was so unprepared that that was supposed to happen on the same day as the written test. Um, so even though I haven't seen much of you in the past year, I'm still gonna miss you greatly. Um, trying to keep from crying here. At the same time, I'm so happy for you as you embark on your new life adventure on the West Coast, which I assume means being near um, your precious grandkids. Um, please know that you've made an impact on me, on the organizations that we belong to, on our community, and you will be greatly. Hi, Chris. Wow. We're going to miss you. It doesn't seem that long ago that we were both taking the uh, OCBA B school. I love getting to know you. I love your positive energy and you, you've really given so much to OCBA. You've made it a, a very fun place to be. So I think you're probably wise to make this move. It's good to be near family and especially grandchildren. They really are one of the true joys of life. So I will be our loss in their game, but I know you'll have a good time there and please stay in touch and let us know if you're ever in town. Mark and I would love to see you. So best of luck in this exciting new chapter of your life. Hey Chris, this is Nancy Oglesby and I just wanted to thank you for all you've done for OCBA. And in particular for me, when I was a newbie beekeeper and I wanted to be involved in the club, but I didn't think I was qualified to do anything. You encouraged me to try a simple volunteer activity with kids. And then afterwards you told me that I had done a great job. And it was a simple thing, but it totally changed my opinion of my own abilities. And after that, I made a point of volunteering for just one thing for OCBA every month. And um, now see where it's gotten me because I'm going to be the VP next year. So thank you very much. And I really hope that you enjoy your new home and know that your contributions here will live on and that you will be missed. Take care. Hey, Chris. Um... I just wanted to do a short little video to say that uh, I was thinking about doing this video to try and convince you to stay, but I know it's that's not going to happen. So um, I hope you enjoy it in Washington. Um, just want to let you know I'm going to miss you. And I, I know it's what you probably need, though. So um, have a good time.